Yeah. Um, originally, I observed. Uh, I just observed everything. I saw so many things. I saw how the how they gave shots, treated the wounds, sewed people up. I even saw a circumcision. Um, they put in IVs. I saw three births in my stay there, which I never thought I would see a human birth. It's slightly terrifying, actually, but it's very fascinating. Um, I got us in on consultations, and I saw how public health is really administered. Uh, I saw public health policies in action, and how some of them actually work, but in other cases, some of them just simply do not actually nothing. I, um, they have these polio vaccinations where they go into the village every once in a while, and I did that with them. Um, but I just sometimes I don't understand how they get every child, and I don't think they do get every child. Um, and then there's malaria, obviously. Malaria is a big issue, and I saw so many things about so many things about malaria that I wish I could help them with. For example, nobody uses mosquito nets, and I wish everybody did, but they just don't. Um, things like that. And then eventually, I needed to carve out my own role at the Post Asante because I couldn't just observe all day. So I basically talked to the people there, and I eventually got my little position as a pharmacist where I sold medicine. It really helped me because it improved my wool off. I had to learn these phrases about how to take medicine. I had, you had to take two a day, when, you know? Um, also, it improved my relationship with the post Sante, also with my entire village, because since I worked there, everybody knew me. Everybody would come to the post Sante to get medicine, and I would be the one to give them. So I met so many people. And it was just a lot of fun. I learned, I had great conversations while sitting there and doing, and, and talking with um, the other pharmacists. I really, really, really enjoyed it. But in retrospect, obviously, I don't exactly know what else I could have done. It was tough, it was frustrating, definitely frustrating. Um, but essentially, I'm happy I still did it, though, because there were so many challenges in it. And I'm proud of myself for carving that own role out. And it really surprised me, because I didn't think I actually would do as much as I did and learn as much as I did, but I really did. He is the head nurse, okay. um, my boss essentially, mm -hmm. and each head nurse and each slash femme at a posasante or maternity gets a lodging, and so this is his lodging. But he actually, he really has right to the entire building, but he actually only uses about half of it, and the other half is used for storage, and this room is used for a dentist that comes um, about twice a week. I just haven't seen her in a while. Um, but this is where I spend most of my time selling the medicine, and it's like the hangout room if you don't have anything to do. Uh, that's the consultation room, and that's where Seth usually is, and he'll do the consultations. They're really quick, like if you observe one, Check your temperature, not even, sometimes they don't even check your temperature, and it's blood pressure, and then ask you how you're feeling, and they give you something. The thing with medicine here is they usually, if there's any sign of an infection, they'll just give you amoxicillin or some antibiotic, even when probably most cases they're probably not infections. So Sachin is um, the woman's health doctor. Mm -hmm. She does everything related to And births happen really quickly here, really, really fast. I thought it was going to take so much longer, but they're usually out of here in like five minutes. Um, and what happens, obviously it's a natural birth, they don't use any drugs until afterwards for the pain. Um, and yeah, they, all that, what's strange about it is like, it'll start crowning, but then immediately as it starts crowning, the, the nurse will start pulling the baby out. Uh, and then this is where they put the baby. 